Hey Broncos, welcome back to another Yoga 30. My name is Nicole, I'm gonna be your instructor for today. In this class, all you're gonna need is a towel, something that you can roll up super quick and we're gonna use it as a strap, or if you have a strap, that works just as well too. Um, also, a blanket just to have off to the side, maybe something to put under our knees for a little bit of extra cushion, under our backs or our heads at any point that we may need it in our practice today. So to start us off, we are going to start in child's pose. So coming onto our hands and knees, we're gonna take our knees as wide as comfortable or to the edges of our mat, bringing our big toes together, sinking it back, sinking our bum back onto our heels, and then reaching all the way forward with our hands, resting our forehead onto the ground. We're gonna start doing some big belly breathing here for a few moments to just start settling into this pose. Taking this time here to inhale through our nose, exhale through our mouth. Like I said, using this time, settling into our pose, beginning to settle into our practice, resting our mind, and allowing this to be a position that we can come back to at any time in our practice if our minds start to wander off the mat, or if we just need a slight break from anything we're doing today. Coming back here, letting this be our settling ground in our comfortable pose. Taking one more deep inhale and exhale. And then coming up onto all fours and coming back into a seated position here. Taking our legs, crossing them in front of each other, however comfortable, finding a nice tall spine, drawing the crown of our head towards the sky and taking our hands into a heart center. We're gonna spread our fingers wide, not crunching them up, just nice and wide, open at our heart, letting the energy just start to flow, continuing with our deep breathing. As we're in our seated position here, taking a few moments to set an intention for what we want to get out of our practice today. Again, don't think too long on this or too hard, just whatever comes into our minds, Take that and let that be the goal of our practice today. Taking two more deep breaths. At the end of our second breath, reaching for our towel or our strap, whichever one we have. And for our towel, we can just twist it up a little bit. We're gonna take our right arm, holding onto the top of the towel, bringing it behind our back. I'll turn so we can see this. Taking our right arm behind our back to the top of our head, and then bringing our left arm around and bringing it to our lower back. We're gonna try and keep a nice tall spine here as we do this. But we're going to start to stretch out through our arms and our back a little bit and our shoulders. But slowly start creeping our hands toward each other as we climb to the middle of our back in our towel or our strap. Maybe you'll see some flexibility in one uh, shoulder versus the other. Trying to draw our elbows towards our right elbow towards the sky and our left elbow towards the ground here. Keeping that tall spine, our crown is drawn up towards the sky. Taking some deep, deep breaths here. Not letting our bodies crunch, not letting our arms relax. We wanna keep everything nice, nice and tall. Taking one more deep breath in. 
Exhale, hinging at our hips, holding on to our strap or our towel. Keeping a nice bend as far forward as we can. Keeping our back as straight as possible. Taking a deep inhale in. Exhale, release. We're going to switch sides here, lowering our shoulders a little bit. Taking our left arm, bringing it closer to the top of our strap or towel. Bringing our left arm above our head, our right arm behind. And again, this is where we're going to see if uh, one of our arms or shoulders is a little more or less flexible than the other. Maybe taking that into consideration and using that as something to work towards in our next practice. I definitely notice it here on my left side. So finding our pose, crawling our hands towards the center of our back as far as we can into wherever we're comfortable. It's slightly challenging so we feel a little bit of a, a stretch down our side and through our shoulders. Keeping our breath steady in the nose, out the mouth. Focusing on a tall spine, our head, our crown of our head is drawn towards the sky. Our left elbow this time is up, our right elbow is down. One more deep inhale, exhale, hinging at the hips, bringing everything forward, keeping a nice flat back. Taking one deep inhale and exhale, release. Letting our arms hang off by the sides here, letting our towel off to the side again. Just rolling our arms in big circles backwards and then forwards. And when we're ready, coming back onto our tabletop position, just flipping over slightly. When we're comfortable, when we're ready. In our tabletop, we want to make sure that our wrist is stacked under our, our shoulders, our knees under our hips. And we're going to go through some cat cows and do a little bit of spinal warm up. So we're going to inhale, lifting our head and our hips up towards the sky. Exhale, pressing through the palms of our hands for, uh, and running our back out towards the sky. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Going through this motion a few more times at our own pace. Really taking each move with every full breath. So inhale for a full length of time. Exhale, pressing through our palms until the end of our breath. Going through two more times. The end of our second breath, curling our toes under our feet and pressing back into a downward facing dog. So we want to find a nice firm foundation here because we will use, uh, be coming back to this pose several times today. So we want to spread our fingers nice and wide so our palms can grip the ground firmly or our mats. And our toes, we're up on our toes here. If our heels are not all the way down to the ground, that is okay. And this is our nice firm foundation. We want to see if we can get our knees as straight as they can and our back as flat as they can as well, making a sort of V shape with our bodies. Allowing our head to drop here, hanging out a few moments, and we can even walk our dog. So straightening one leg out and bending one knee a little bit further, continuing to breathe here, maybe holding each stretch for one breath.
coming back to a center downward facing dog. We're gonna go through a little, little bit of a vinyasa here. We're gonna use this to get a little bit of our body heat flowing throughout our practice today. So we're gonna inhale to a kneeling plank, so dropping our knees down. Exhale, slowly lowering our arms, drawing our elbows towards the sky for chaturanga. Inhale, pressing up into a full cobra. Exhale, pressing back into our downward facing dog. So that was one modification. Here comes the second modification. If we would like to challenge ourselves just a little bit more, we're gonna inhale, full plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Going through that one more time through the choosing of our own modification or the ones I had shown you and just matching it to our own breath here. We will put that flow together a few times throughout our practice today, but we're gonna start by stepping our legs forward into a forward fold. So walking our feet closer to our hands and just letting our body hang here. Letting our head dangle, maybe grabbing our elbows, rocking side to side. And when we feel ready, letting our bodies hang, letting our arms drop, and then slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time, allowing our head and our shoulders to be the last sore. At the top here, allowing our palms to come out to our sides, opening up our palms here in our Tadasana pose or our mountain pose. The crown of our head is drawn up towards the sky and we have a nice tall spine here. Taking our hands, swooping them nice and high up towards the sky for full sun. Exhale, swooping them back down behind our back, interlacing our fingers, pulling on our hands backwards, opening up our chest, maybe rocking side to side. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, release mountain pose. Inhale, back to full sun. Exhale, interlacing our fingers behind our back. Pulling on them, breathing and rocking side to side. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, release. Going through one more time. Inhale, full sun. Exhale, dropping our hands and interlacing them behind our back. Rocking side to side. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, release. Going through one more time, adding a few variations. Inhale, full sun. Exhale, interlacing our fingers here at the top, allowing our body to rest, finding ourselves in our full sun pose here. I'm interlacing my fingers and drawing my index finger up towards the sky, allowing my fingers to cross over each other, my left thumb over my right. Taking a deep inhale, exhale, bending to our left. Inhale, full sun. Exhale, bending to our right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, switching our thumbs, crossing our right over our left. Inhale. Exhale, bending to our left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bending to our right. Inhale, full sun. 
exhale, bring our hands to a heart center. Inhale, full sun. Exhale through our heart center into a forward fold. Hinging at the hips, keeping our back as flat as possible until we come into our last little bit of our forward fold here. Taking our hands, firmly placing them onto the ground and then stepping back into a full plank. Firing up our core here a little bit, holding here. Just allowing our core to be focused in on pulling our belly button in towards our spine, dropping our hips allowing our back to stay as flat as possible. And I know we're starting to feel a little bit of a burn here, but we're gonna hold for three, two, one, lower to our knees, sinking our knees uh, back into a comfortable position, bringing our big toes together, sinking back into child's pose. Taking a deep inhale, coming up to our downward facing dog. Exhale, walking our feet just a little bit forward and then bringing our big toes together. We're going to inhale, lifting our right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, curling it back just slightly, allowing our bodies to twist. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, lifting our left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, twisting it off to the side of our body. Inhale. Exhale, release. Feeling a little bit of a twist in our hips and down our spine here. Along with feeling our shoulders firing and feeling ourselves strengthen as we go through this pose. Inhale, our right leg back up towards the sky. Exhale, curling around our body. Inhale. Exhale, release. Going through our left side. Inhale, our left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, curling it around our body. Inhale. Exhale, release. Going through our vinyasa flow here. Inhale, full plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, choosing our own modifications that we want to make with this and going through two more times. When we come to the bottom of our third one, we're going to slowly drop to our knees, back into our tabletop, and then turning onto our backs. As comfortable as you can. Bringing our towel close to us and maybe placing our blanket behind our head for a little extra cushioning. Coming onto our backs here, keeping our towel or our strap in hand, our knees are going to be bent. We're going to slowly bring our right leg up more, placing our towel or our strap around the bottom of our foot, and then slowly let our left leg slide towards the ground, flattening out, and then grabbing the ends of our strap or our towel, and slowly straightening out our right leg as straight as we can make it. Here, we're just going to focus on getting our leg to a point where it's comfortable but challenging. We want to feel a deep stretch through the back of our leg here, and through our foot. So keeping our foot nice and flat, don't uh, point your toes. Almost like we're trying to high five the ceiling or the sky. Focusing on our breath here, letting it settle. Following through with our exhales a little bit more, we're gonna take a deep inhale. Exhale, pulling our leg in just a little bit more, straightening it out.
keeping our breath here. If we notice our legs start to shake as mine is here, just holding here, knowing that this is that spot where we're breaching that point of just slightly being a little uncomfortable or a little uh, tense here. So holding out here will help stretch it out as we warm our bodies up and stretching at the same time, getting our muscles working. Taking a nice deep breath. One more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly lowering our foot back towards the ground. Taking our strap off, bringing our knees back in close again. This time taking our strap or our towel, placing it on the bottom of our left foot. And then slowly lowering our right foot towards the ground and slowly starting to tug on our towel or strap, straightening out our left leg as flat as we can. Now you may notice one side is a little bit tighter than the other. That is completely fine and totally normal. My left leg is definitely less flexible than my right, but that's okay. It's something we're working on. So like I said, matching with that breath, taking a deep inhale, exhale, trying to see if we can bring that leg in a little further. Every exhale, we should be able to feel a little bit more of a stretch. <sighs> Try to keep that knee as flat as we can, but still soft. One more deep inhale. Exhale, slowly releasing our leg, allowing our towel to come off of our left foot. Bringing our knees in close, keeping our towel in hand. We're gonna put both feet up into our towel or strap. The right foot comes up, left foot follows. Trying to get a double leg stretch here a little bit. Bringing our feet, our big toes together holding on nice and tight and doing similar like we just did with the single leg, but with our double leg. Keeping our leg nice and straight, allowing that stretch to come down our hamstrings here. Best here to keep our hips on the ground and keeping our legs straight. Taking one more deep inhale. Exhale, releasing our legs back towards the ground. Bringing our right knee up towards our chest, allowing our left leg to drop, grabbing onto it just a few moments here. Taking our left hand, placing it on the outside of our right knee letting our right arm drop off towards the side. Again, we don't have our towel here, just taking that and placing that off to the side. Taking our left hand on the outside of our right knee, taking a deep inhale in, and exhale, slowly bringing that leg across our body, feeling a nice stretch down the outside of our hips. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bringing our leg across our body. Inhale, center. Exhale, taking my knee just a little bit further. Noticing with every exhale that we take, our leg is able to move just a little bit further than the last time. Going through two more times.
heel back to center. Exhale, dropping our right, right leg towards the ground. And then bringing up our left knee towards our chest. Giving it a nice little squeeze. And then taking our right hand on the outside of our left knee, dropping our left arm back towards the ground. And going through the same thing on our left side. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, bringing our legs slightly across our body. Inhale, center. Exhale, bringing our leg across the body a little more. Through this pose, trying to keep our shoulders on the ground and not letting our arms lift up. Continuing through this pose two more times. Inhale back to center. Exhale, releasing our leg towards the ground. And then slowly pressing ourselves up into a seated position. Coming here, we're going to take our left leg, keeping it straight, bringing our right leg in and crossing it over our left thigh and knee and trying to bring our right leg into our body as close as we can, giving it a nice little hug here, keeping the foot on our left leg flat and giving our, our leg, our right leg, a nice big hug here, feeling a deep stretch come through the bottom of our hip and our glute here. Continuing to breathe. And when we feel good and ready, taking a few more deep breaths. breaths. And release. This time flattening out our right side, bringing our left leg in, crossing it over our right. Uh, thigh and knee, giving our left leg a hug this time. And this time giving our, our left glute some love. Again, remembering to keep our right foot flat. Feeling the difference in the stretch from when our toe is pointed to when our foot is flat. Keeping our breath nice and steady. Never holding. And a deep inhale in. And exhale, releasing our legs. Nice and flat. Keeping our feet flat. This time, keeping our knees flat as well. And rolling our shoulders down the back into a nice, tall, seated position, drawing the crown of our head towards the sky. Opening up our chest here. Sitting nice and tall, and then taking our hands down by our sides and just lightly pressing into the ground in our nice tall seated position. Breathing here a few moments. Feeling our back muscles engage here. Everything nice and tight. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, release our bodies, letting them curl. Taking our legs, bringing them in towards our pelvis as much as we can. Our feet are together, drawing our, our heels inwards towards us, maybe grabbing onto our toes a little bit and fluttering our legs like a butterfly. Keeping a nice, steady feet with our legs here. Opening up those hips. Maybe letting our head drop a little bit. When we feel good and ready with this pose, we can release ourselves, letting our legs cross over, letting our hands rest wherever comfortable, taking our neck, just 
giving it a few good rolls in one direction. Maybe rolling our body with it and then the other direction when we feel ready. Coming to our center when we feel good, allowing our crown of our head to draw towards the sky and then bringing our hands to a heart center, again, keeping our fingers nice and wide. Our thumbs resting on our chest, on our sternum, right between our breastbones. Finding our nice steady breath thanking our bodies for giving a quick little stretch in today. Maybe working on an intention or a goal that we set from our last practice into today's or whatever we set at the beginning of our practice. A word that we like to use here in yoga meaning the light in me acknowledges the light in you. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you next week.